See, I want you. Do you know how bad I want you to live? Do you know how bad God wants you to live? I want to get this. I want you to get hold to this word. I, I really want you to have this. I want you to know how much Jesus loves you. I want you to know the wonderful life that he comes to give you. I want you to live this life. I want your health to be complete. I want that for you. But I know if that question is not settled, it doesn't matter what I want for you. But you the only one can settle that. And that's the question that you have to ask yourself. Do you love? It's so simple. He asked it. Jesus asked the question. There it is before your eyes. Mark, do you love me? Clive, do you love me? James, do you love me? Do you love me? It's a question that, listen, nobody is going to, nobody's going to get away from that question. Nobody, 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 nobody. We can have all the religion we want. We can fake it out. We can look good as much as we want. But everybody got to deal with that question. You have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. You have to deal with that question. And you will never forget it. I don't care how far you go, what you do, you will never forget that question. The best you can say is, I wish they hadn't heard it, but it's too late now. But you have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. And you have to deal with it within you. And you, you can never get away from you. I don't care where you go, there you are. I don't care where you go. And that question is hanging over you. But you know what? When you can answer that question positively, when you can answer that question with an affirmative, it really, it, it's good. Yes. I don't have to wait until you ask me. Yes, I love you. Peter was able to give the right answer. Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Yes, I love you. And when you love him, see, the love that you love him with is the very love that he has given unto you. Yes. Amen. Amen. See, you cannot love him until he first loved you. Yes. He doesn't require you to love him until he loves you. There's no requirement. There is no requirement for you to love Jesus until he loves you. See, if you could forget about you and just look at, see, the, you know what messes us up? We see everything but Jesus. We see our problems. We see people. We see our own ignorance. We see everything except Jesus. If you can get your eyes on him and only see Jesus. And respect, because listen, this Christian life is not the result of your Ability is not the result of your effort. You don't live the wonderful life because you, you know how. Amen. You live this life because that's the life that's given unto you. Amen. And God will navigate you through it. The Bible says it is God that works in me, which causes me both to will and to do. So I don't have to try to do anything. I don't try to do anything. I'm powered by the force of love. I am powered. All I have to do is receive this love. <coughs> and there's no requirement for you to love until you are loved. The Bible says we love him. Why? Because he first loved us. There it is. In fact, that's the we love him the 10th, 19th, 19th verse because he first what? Loved us. 
And so he, so, so he won't ask you if you love him until he first loves you. Well, that makes sense because you can't love him. Well, if you back up, if you back up, he, he makes this very clear uh, in, 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 over, over in John. And if you go back, if you go back over to, to the epistle of John there, uh, he picks up here. In this, verse 10 says, in this is love, not that we loved God, but that he what? Loved us and sent his son. No, you, you, you couldn't love him. And there's no requirement for you to love him until he loves. See, I'm trying to show you how easy this is because you know what? A lot of times, here, here's what happens. I know because the devil messed me up too. We, we, we'll listen to God and God be talking and then we'll be thinking, hmm, how am I going to do this? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, don't worry about it. It's not, it's not up to you. Amen. I'm trying to show you God has really done everything. He has done everything Amen. for you. Yeah. For example, he says what? Do you love me? But watch this. He doesn't ask that until he first loves you. Amen. Which means he doesn't ask you to love until he first gives you the love to love with. Amen. Amen. So, so don't worry about No, you can't know. So quit speaking from your resources. That's what keeps people defeated because their mouth is so tied to their own resources. It's no higher than this. You know you don't have nothing. You know anything. So listen to God. He knows and he has. Let your mouth be connected to his resources. No, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches. Well, how can I say I can't afford it after I hear that? I I will never, I can't say it. Because I I know, everybody knows you can't afford it. That's right. That's why God gives you access to his resources. You know, people, you know, I hate so and so. I don't. Yes. You hate. You hate. Well, that's right. That's, that's you. You, 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 you. That's why Jesus went to the cross to get you out of you. Jesus doesn't hate anybody. So how do why people run around talking, well, I hate so-and-so, I hate so a stupid talk. If, well, if you're a Christian, if you're not a Christian, then it doesn't matter. No, it is God's resources. God, we are connected to, we are complete in him. Yes. And so let's get this love thing straight. Jesus said, do you love me? But he has first loved you. Now you have the capacity to love him. That's why he says, you know I me. Mean? If I love you, then you ought to love one another, Amen. because now you have the ability to do so because Amen. I have given you my love. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Now the, the thing you have to do is that you have to receive that. Amen. That's right. You have to receive God's love. Now if you don't receive the love, you still can't do it. Amen. And if I give you a hundred dollars and tell you to go, well, you can. You, you know, if you don't take it, then you're still hungry, man. But if you receive it, Amen. if you receive God's love, Amen. they that receive the abundance of life and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life through the one Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. You have to receive that. And so you re- I'm, I'm sharing you this so that you can know the truth. Amen. Now you have the ability. You know you have the ability. And then once you have the ability, it's a matter of choice. That's all it is. Yes, Jesus, I love you. He said, amen. 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 Let's get busy. Amen. That's what he'll tell you. Amen. Now, next day he says, if you love me, you do what I tell you. Amen. Ah. Now, see, now, see, because, see, you got a lot of talkers. People just say things. They just flap their mouth, you know, and they'll say things to please you, just say things to get you off. You ever witness to someone, and they just yes you to get rid of you? They don't believe you. They don't believe the word. They just yes you to get rid of you. Well, I know people do that. But you can't fake this one out. When Jesus said, do you love me? You can't fake that out because he has another statement to make. And I want you to turn on to the 14th chapter of John's gospel and let's pick up on that. 
Because this is what's going to allow for us to live. Because now that the sin is paid, people, we got to live. Amen. You got to live and do the work from God. Amen. That's what we are called to do. John 14, chapter number 23, Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will do what? Keep my word. So, okay, let's back up, rewind. Do you love me? Yes. yes. Then, I, then, I, then I, I just watch you. <laughs> to see what you're doing. <laughs> now that's what I just all I do. You love Jesus? Yes. Yeah. Then I just watch. Yeah. See, all, all, all the people that the people that God give me to watch for their souls, you know. I watch for them, I pray for them. Pray for all of you. Yeah. Then I say, You love me? They say, Yeah. Then I see your seat empty on Sunday morning. <laughs> you love me? Yeah. yeah. Where are you? <laughs> That's the real deal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's the real deal. Now, if you love me, then you'll do what I tell you. And I told you, don't forsake the assemblies of yourselves together. I told you. That I, I, didn't I tell you to do that? Right. Well, I don't have time. Well, go ahead. Now you know whether you love me or not. Now, this is, now it, I, I didn't write this. I didn't write that. I didn't write that. I just preach it. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. You see. Now look at what he says here. John 14, 23. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Man, that's good. You want Jesus to live with you? He does. He li- Let me tell you something. Jesus in a home. That's, you know, after you live in a home with Jesus, you, you won't live in nobody. You don't want to live in another one. Another one. Amen. I don't want to live nowhere else. I don't want to live nowhere but at home. Amen. Unless, you, unless you love Jesus. Amen. You want, I want, do I want to spend a night with you? No. <laughs> not, unless, not unless Jesus is over there. Amen. I'm going to be honest with you. If, I, I don't want to, I, I'm, a, I'm, just, I'm just being straight. Amen. If Jesus is not in your house, I really don't want to come. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm being honest with you. I don't want, I don't want to come in there. I've been in houses I didn't want. I rushed out of there. I've been in houses to visit people, and I visit. I made my visit short because I didn't like it in there. I didn't like it in there. It just, it just, it. I just didn't like it in there. Then I left, and I wasn't the heathen's house either. Because that's why I'm visiting. No, no, this is real, people. This is real. See, see, what you say is supposed to match what you do. And, 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 and I found out that, 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 that the church, what we call the church today, there's a lot of mouth and not a lot of action. People say things they don't believe and they don't act on what they say. They, they love Jesus. They, they can't. They can't. They, they stay. They can stay married. They fighting one another and hell in the house. Come on, Jesus don't live over there. That's he right. can't live in that. That's right. That's right. Amen. But yet we say, yeah, and we're going to go to heaven anyhow. <laughs> no, something wrong with that. Jesus, if you love me, you will do what I say. He loves you. He loved you before he asked you about it, whether you loved him or not. And he does love you. God, he loves you. You have no idea how Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. And it's not conditional. He, has a, he loves you because there's nothing wrong with you. You said, but I was bad. No, he paid for your bad. 
That's what you forgot, see. He paid Jesus when Jesus went into the holy place of heaven yeah. and took his blood yeah. and offered it. I'm telling you, there never can be a legitimate accusation made against you again. Amen. Amen. The problem is people don't know that. But I'm supposed to tell you, your sin has been paid once for all times. And Jesus loves you, and he is waiting for you to love him. Amen. That's all it is. It's simple. Quit making up stuff and making things hard when they are not hard. Amen. Nobody cares what you did. He won't even mention what you did. And you best forget it too. You know, you ever read the parable of the, of the, of the particle son? Remember when the son came home and he was trying to tell his dad what he did? Did you notice the dad did not listen to him? He is studying, making him getting ready for the party. He's, he's getting the, he, is, he is planning. He is party planning. And the son is trying to tell him, well, dad, you know, I did this and I did this. He won't even talk about it. Well, why don't you quit talking about your past? Because your past has been paid in full. And Jesus is asking a simple question, do you love me? And which indicates he has already loved you. Amen. The Bible said God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners. Jesus died for you and I. People, Jesus loves you. You know I'm telling you, he loves you. And he's given you access to his love. And it's shed abroad in your heart. And he is telling you to take that same love and you love other people with that love. Because you can do it. You can do it because he gave it to you. Yes. Quit talking about people getting on your nerves. <laughs> no, really, you, you say stuff like that and then they are on your nerves. Quit saying that. Your mouth is your detriment. Amen. That's right. Supposing Jesus said you get on his nerves. And I'm sure you do something that would do it, would do it, but he wouldn't allow He won't allow it. He won't allow you to get on his nerve. Hey, that's how much he loves you. And he'll never, he'll, he'll never, Jesus will never tell you, listen, I've had it up to here with you. No, no, I'm telling you. I'm, no, I'm telling you. Jesus will never, because his word, his word declare I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. People, you got, you got to believe that. Quit letting the devil condemn you over a debt that's been paid. Jesus paid for your sin. It's paid in full. And Jesus is standing at the right hand of the majesty on high. Your present day high priest yes, seeing to it that no devil ever rail against you. Amen. And every opposition, every accusation that's brought against you, Jesus will squash it. He is your high priest. And he is waiting for you to stand up and be who he has called you to be. He is waiting for you to respond and say, yes, Jesus, I love you. And I want to do all that you call me to do. People, there's nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. Nothing. All you've got to do is to get about God's business. Oh, God, so many people out there in darkness and stumbling around don't know half what you know. And God wants you to go talk to them. God wants you to want, God want them to see the good life that he's given unto you. God wants you to take this life that he's given you and live this life before them. He says it in this way. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which art in heaven. God literally wants to show you off. He loves you so much. He wants to show you off. He wants to show you before men 
show his glory through you. Because you know God is not willing that one person die and go to hell. He said he is not willing that any should perish, but that all come through it. That's why Jesus went to that cross. Oh, Jesus, help us to preach the gospel to people so they can know the truth. God is not counting up the thing that you do, what you call bad. It's paid for in full. Amen. And he wants you to understand that and respond to the question and tell him, yes. Yes, Jesus, I do love you. Yes, Jesus, I do love you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me when I didn't even love myself. Thank you for loving me. I didn't even know myself. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me bringing me to a point to understand your love for me. Oh God, my people, he, I'm telling you, you got to know this. You got to know this and quit beating yourself up. Quit letting the devil beat you up. He is the accuser. But don't let him accuse you because it is an illegal accusation. He is accusing you of a debt that's been paid. Jesus paid it in full. It is, what, it is forever settled. Your sin is settled. You, been, you need to know that. Go back and get those CDs. I've been preaching it for the last six months or so. Go back and get them and listen to them over and over and over again. Get this word down in your heart and get it, get it settled. That the sin issue is over. Now I just need to go live this life so that I can impact the world for God so that I can touch people's lives, so that I can bring people into the kingdom, so that I can let my light shine before men and let them see, my, see the God that's in me. Wherever you go, on the workplace, in the marketplace, I don't care where you go, but you need to let God be seen in your life. Let people see the glory of God on you. Let them see the goodness of Jesus in you. Let them see Jesus in your life. People, this thing is not hard. It's easy. Jesus said, my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. This is not, this is not a hard task. Do you love Jesus? Yes, I love Jesus. And I don't apologize for it. I love him and he loves me. I prove to you that I love Jesus. I love you. The proof, the proof, the proof that you love Jesus Amen. is that you love people. Amen. You love people. Yes, yes, yes. And if you don't know, just, you just, just go to him. Uh -huh. And some of you may have problems with this. I know I know, because many of you, I know you have problems, you have issues. We have, some of you right in here right now probably got issues with people. Right, right. But don't let, that, don't let that clog your wheel. Amen. Don't let that clog your lifeline. That's right. Just go off with Jesus. Just tell Jesus. Tell Jesus. Just as Jesus. This thing is working in me, and I, I, I want this love, and I want this love to work in me. Amen. I receive your love, yes. and I want to be able to love people with the same love that you love me with. Amen. Listen, I know, what, I know what it's like when, when you've been wronged by someone, so to speak. Yes. But then if you, if you feel that you've been wronged, well, then, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But have you done any wrong? Well, Are you without sin? Yes, well, does Jesus hold it against you? Well, then why are you holding it against somebody that does something to you? Are, are you hearing this? Are you hearing God talk to you? Yes. See, I, I'm not going to say it. Well, I don't. Yeah, yeah, it's real. People are mean, and people will mistreat you. People will talk about you. People will tell lies on you. People do all kind of things. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Have you ever done anything? No, come on. Well, how does Jesus treat you? No, he just said, come on in the kingdom. Come on in. Come on in. Just like you are. Come on in. My blood is taking care of it. See, see, that, that, that's the way it is. And so don't, 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 don't let things, don't let things fester in you because somebody said something to you 20 years ago and you say you still can't, can't, can't get over it. All that stuff you did and probably still doing some stuff. And Jesus don't even pay it any attention. 
He still loves you. Every day gives you fresh air to breathe. He could cut you off just like that. Listen, you're not going to get no more of my oxygen. But he doesn't do that. He allows his mercy because he is rich in mercy and his grace and his love whereby he has loved us with. Well, you got to be merciful to other people as well. Just forgive them. Just say it out of your mouth. And I hear, I hear you, you know, well, I, I tried. Well, do it. Just say, Jesus, I forgive Mary. I forgive her. Just say it. Just say it out of your mouth. I love her. Some of the very person that you can't stand, the very person that you just, 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 mmm, just, you can't even, if they walked in this room right now, you would just go, mmm. <laughs> just call them by name. You ever notice people like that, you, you, you don't even like to call their name? You ever notice that? You don't even want to say their name. Well, get, well, just say their name. Say it. Yeah, I mean, just, just go off to somebody and just be able to get up and be able to say their name. Say it and say it out loud. Amen. Start, that's, a, that's a good way. To, that's a good start. See, I'm trying to see the devil. I know how the, the devil is a mean devil. He will keep you blocked from this good life that Jesus wanted to give you. And he will keep you blocked with some stupid. Like a grudge. A grudge is the stupidest thing it is. But he'll block you from the good life with some stupid like a grudge. Well, just practice. Just say it. Just, and you're not going to die if you say their name. It may, it may gobble the first time you try to say it. But just say their name. And then just start talking to Jesus and tell them about, you know, well, you know, I know this, but I say, I'm, I'm getting past this. And I love them because I know you love me. Amen. You're, not holding my, you're not holding my sin against me. Amen. You're not holding my stuff against me, so I'm not going to hold that against them. Amen. And I'm just going to forgive them. And then, and then, and then, and then now, now, now after that, because this is just a the start. Then after that, then when you see them, you act like you love them. Amen. Amen. You go greet them just like you greet everybody else. Amen. Oh, of course you're going to feel bad and die like a dog. You're going to feel like throwing up inside. But don't worry about it. I'm, listen, I know what I'm talking about. You're not going to feel like doing it. You'd rather go to a skunk party. But do it. Just go and greet them. Now watch this. The first... The first interaction is going to be the hardest. The first interaction is going to be the hardest. After that, just, 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 it'll, it'll get easier as you go. But because but I know, because see, some of you probably got some, there are some people in some of your life that you probably, that you just soon you never saw again in your life. I know it, I know it. But, but that's the kind of thing that, that clogs up the lifeline. To this wonderful life that Jesus come to give you. Because as long as until you learn to love and forgive, that's why Jesus said, listen, if I love you, then you ought to love one another. So if he just come and just shower the blessings on you without you loving people, no, he's, he's kind of an accessory to the crime. You know what I mean? He, he can't, no, he, he, no, he can't do that. No, why don't you come on and walk in love and then you can live like the rest of us? Well, you just do it. But now watch this. Don't ever worry about what other people feel and think about you. Because they, you're not responsible for how people feel about you. As long as you treat them right, as long as you love them, you are not responsible. Because I know you're thinking, well, you know, I go there speaking and, and hugging them. They're going they gonna, to you know, think this. Don't even worry about it. Just treat them right anyway. Follow what I'm, what I'm saying? 
Just treat them right. And as you do that, the more you do it, the easier it'll become. And you'll become free. And I'm telling you, this wonderful life, this life that Jesus comes, I'm telling you people, this is a good life. It's a good life. I mean, it's good. When I wake up in the morning, waking up, let me tell you, living in good health, feeling good. You go out in the morning and smell the fresh air. Listen to the birds. Ain't no grudge against anybody. Oh, man, that's good. All your needs are met. Man, your bills are paid. You want to go somewhere, you just go. Man, that's good living. That's the kind of life that Jesus come to give you. But you got to get free. You got to get free. And the love of God has to flow in you. Let it, let it flow. Let this love flow because that now that we, because see, now that we understand the sin is paid. Well, did you know, you can know that the sin is paid and if you let the line get clogged with grudges and stuff like that, you will still shut the lifeline down. Even though you know your sin has been paid. No. Get it cleared up. And let God, now, 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 you're ready for kingdom business. Amen. Now you're ready to be used. Now God can use you Amen. to minister to other people. Because if, if you're still jacked around, anybody, he's not going to mess with you because where, where you go, what are you going to minister? That stuff that's in you? He don't want nobody else to have that. So you got to get it out of you. Because, see, let me tell you something about spirits and we're about done. See, you don't, see, whatever kind of spirit that's in you, it's going to get on other people, whether you say anything or not, because it's a spirit. Amen. See, if, if you, if for an example, if, if, you're a, if you're a thief, I don't want you downstairs teaching the kids. <laughs> not really. Not really. Now, here's why. I'm not, I'm, not, I don't want you, I'm not afraid of you stealing anything downstairs, but that spirit that's in you is going to get on them whether you say anything or not. Because that spirit is in you. You understand that? And so if you're full of grudges and you're not cleared with God, he can't do much with you. Because you, he had you ministering to other people and that spirit is going right along with, no. He don't want to spread that. He wants to kill that thing. So whatever you really are, that's what you go to radiate. Now when the glory of God is in you, the glory, you don't have to say anything. You can walk in a room and people will know there's something about you. It's the glory of God. Why? It's the spirit of God. The spirits will radiate. Well, 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 bad spirits will radiate too. So, you know, you think, well, I'm going to be real quiet. No, they don't know. <laughs> You're a thief. <laughs> and that spirit is there. No, it's there. So, you know, and, 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 and people, you know, people, pe people come to church and set up and be real nice for a few minutes. The spirit, the spirit is there. So listen, get, get this thing cleared up. Get it cleared up. Get the lifeline clear. Because that's what we are called. Now that the sin is paid, now that it's settled, we have to go live now. Now God's ready to use us. Amen. But you got to get rid of that junk. Let you get that junk out of there. He loves you all right. Amen. Get that junk out of there, and then you can be an asset to the kingdom. Amen? Amen. Go ahead and stand to your feet. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Now that sin is settled, now what? We're ready to go live. We are ready to demonstrate. We are ready to share this wonderful love and life that God's given us. Father, we thank you today. And we honor you and we praise you. We glorify your holy name. Thank you for your word, Father, that have gone forth into the hearts of these your people.